hello friend welcome back to our channel today in this video we are going to make a stunning ticket booking landing page using html css as you all can see in the demo running in the background i am about to demonstrate the creation of this wonderful design so be ready and let's start this video with a short intro First, we create an HTML file name index.html. Okay, now we start the server live server. Now, after live server, uh, first we assign the um, position of both the windows. Now, we just add uh, format you know, format of HTML. Just use you can use exclamation mark and then format is ready. Now, title so we are going to make a uh, ticket booking so ticket booking is good for title okay you can use any title okay now uh, first thing we have to do is uh, create a nav bar okay so for nav bar we use nav tag and then logo named as uh, parigohan because parigohan is a good name now we add links in links we add um, home and then we can use about services so you can use anything if you want but i use multiple for this uh, demonstrate you how you can use multiple and then assign in a single uh, line so i can use multiple you you have to use how many you want okay so i used home plus about services case studies and then i'm going to add what i um pages plus okay so it uh, um, give us a good idea how to use the uh, links tag so now we add one or two more so i use blog and then contact us yeah contact us is the best for this okay so if you create any uh, nav design or nav bar you have to use contact okay now it's time to make a section so uh, for section we are going to add a class name content and then in the content we are going to add a heading name as your safe your safe travel journey in in is our um, goal okay your safe traveling is our goal it's right okay and then we use lauren epson for um, some paragraph okay now we have to use um, some button some button sorry single button name as uh, get your ticket okay so now the HTML file is ready so now we make a CSS file name style.css and after making this uh, we add the style dot uh, CSS with the index.css index.html okay sorry so now after adding we use um, uh, some codes that is uh, needed or necessary so using universal tag star and then padding 0 margin 0 font family will be arial and box sizing will be border box okay so after making all these things uh, we uh, we are going to start the main area okay so let's finish this all now we start the main coding main styling okay sorry so first uh, for body i am going to dis uh, sorry display now its uh, width will be 100 percent okay so cut it and width will be 100 percent and height will be uh, 85 uh, vh okay not pixel it's vh okay now uh, we are going to use a background image so background image yeah here background image will be um, background.jpg and that i already uh, made it now we are going to uh, style the background the background repeat no repeat background position will be center 
and background size will be covered okay now let's check it out oh some space uh, is there left some space okay so use 100 vh that's i think sufficient we use 100 vh okay yeah now it's good now uh, let's check it out yeah it's good but if we use here 85 vh yeah now the you can see the image is quite good enough okay so let's uh, make a small portion of uh, vs code and then we just make changes and the changes is uh, we can see direct uh, changes on the website okay so now uh, after making this we are going to start the uh, main heading means never sorry never so let's never width will be 100 percent and height will be 10 bh okay now what and then justify display flex and justify content will be uh, space around and align item will be center okay and let's color will be white now you can see the uh, what we can say um, links is there in the right side and the logo in the left side okay oh sorry we forget to uh, add the buttons that uh, i have shown you in the demo so you use button so we make a class name buttons and then use both button login and sign up okay so now you can see uh, the links is in the center and there is two button in the right side and uh, on the left side there is a logo okay so now uh, let's uh, first uh, style the uh, logo so nav.logo font size will be 1.5 rem that's good enough okay now for links we are going to uh, first changes the color and then the text uh, underline will be none okay so color will be white and text decoration will be none and font size will be 1.2 rm okay now check it out yeah it's quite good enough okay margin will be 0 and 10 pixel means 0 on the top bottom and 10 pixel will be right left okay and now for uh, hover effect we are going to use hover effect so it's uh, we in hover effect um, the text decoration we changed into underline again so when we hover the uh, text decoration underline will become forward and this seems quite good okay so now it's time to um, animate animate sorry it's time to style the buttons okay so nav button will be width will be 250 pixels means both button container that's dot buttons it means the container okay so container width will be 250 pixels high 10 vh display flex that is justify and align item center okay now for button means both the button we are going to style the buttons inside buttons button inside the buttons okay so margin will be 0 and 5 pixels it makes a gap between the both uh, uh, button okay and width will be 40 percent and height will be i think um 5 vh is quite good okay it's looking good okay border radius uh, 5 pixels and um, border none outline is also none okay now <coughs> font size will be 1.1 rm <coughs> font weight will be 700 and color is white okay now background will be uh, rgb we use uh, custom color now for button hover effect we use color uh, color will be the same color as the background and make the background color transparent and the border will be the same color as the color of the text and box shadow will be the same color of the color of the text okay so when we use transition effect uh, for 0 0.2 seconds linear now if you hover the button it looking uh, 
you know uh, premium design you know so now after making these all things it's time to make the section okay sorry it's time to style the section okay so let's style the section tag for section we use width will be 100 percent and height will be 75 vh okay and display flags justify content will be center and align item will be center this makes the uh, containers uh, element will be in the center of the website okay center of the section for uh, section tag okay now the uh, content width height will be 40 percent and text align will be center okay now color is white and then um let's uh, add the you know uh, let's have the h1 in the content so fonts and we first uh, declare the font size okay font size will be 1.38 uh, sorry, sorry 3 rm it's quite good okay now for uh, paragraph and just add margin because the size of the paragraph is good okay no need to make changes but if we check um, yeah margin is 20 pixels and 20 percent mm. after making changes the uh, pixel uh, sorry, paragraph now we have to you uh, style the button tag okay so for button tag we use a con uh, first let's uh, take the width of the button button will be 40 percent width and height will be 7 bh margin will be 20 pixels from top and bottom and zero pixel from right and left because the button is already in the center so we don't use margin uh, for centering the button okay and the border radius will be 10 pixels background color will be same as the above same as the above uh, button okay now border none outline none and color will be white means the text inside the button will be white uh, for font size uh, it's 1.2 rem and font weight will be 700 now uh, after this all uh, let's add the transition is 0.2 second linear after that we uh, uh, hover effect we have to add hover effect so for hover effect and we use scale 1.1 so the when you hover the size of the button increases and font size is also increases with 1.3 rm okay now quite good for after that we use background color is transparent and then for the brightness will be 40 percent so the text will be highlighted and the color is same as uh, before and the border will be one pixel solid and the same color and box shadow will be also the same color okay now let's check it out how is it looking now you can see the uh, text is looking great and the button is already also looking awesome okay so after all this you can uh, say the our website is already finished okay but we have to use uh, animation effect as i saw in the demo the animation effect is most important for any website so now for animation we are going to use a github repository name as us okay in this repository uh, we can use a scroll effect and anim scroll animation effect just by using his uh, script uh, link tag and script tag okay so adding the first we adding the style.css link tag and aos.css and then we use script.css script, sorry script tag in the body section so after section we use script now we can use is uh, scroll effect so for uh, how you can use it the scroll effect so let's start first we use the effect in the uh, navbar navbar links so for using it we have to first uh, put the uh, a tag and a link tag into the inner class name div class link and then use it uh, put it in a link tag okay so copy the a tag and then paste it in the link that i have created here 
now for every for every links we use this so do it fast okay so as you can see all are finished and now we can use this scroll effect so first go to uh, link and then use it data then aos then we have to uh, name the um, uh, animation what we have to do then i use fade up okay let's cut this oh yeah now you can see uh, the animation is working now we use uh, data aos sorry 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 uh, data aos uh, duration so how uh, it says uh, means how much time you need to make this uh, animation okay so i used in, in seconds okay so i used 1200 seconds okay so i want uh, to make this fade up animation in 1200 seconds for uh, another I used uh, 1200 second but I will use uh, delay for you know uh, for every 100 and 100 second because it not looking good okay. for every links I used a delay of 100 seconds before the delay of the uh, last one okay so for second one I use delay of 100 seconds and then after that for services I use delay of 200 seconds then it's going on going on you know 200 then 3 4 5 6 okay so let's do it first 200 then 300 then 4 5 and then 600 okay so now we can check it out yeah it's looking good now for same as login and sign up button we add this so copy this uh, data OS file and then paste it in the button tag and make the uh, yeah delay for 800 seconds okay and then here it's 900 seconds yeah now you can see the wave creating here okay and it looks quite good you know okay now we have to make uh, some new animation here for content for uh, heading tag we use uh, delay for uh, already i have put 900 then it's 900 and the animation duration will be 2000 yani two seconds and fade will be right so now when the nav nav animation done it will be trans and transfer into the content okay content heading tag and then for paragraph we i use duration will be 2000 and fade will be left okay so uh, the no uh, means new animation will be coming out when we just reload the page okay i already use this um, github repo in my many videos you can check it out okay so i will use here uh, zoom for um, button okay zoom in now you can check it looking quite good okay yeah it's look quite good now when i reload this page yeah you can see the animation is quite good so uh, let's finish this up because i already uh, created now it's time to finish this video and if you really like this video then like it and share with this video with your friends and with your colleague who just step into this web development and please share this video and subscribe our channel for more content